Christmas, the phrase hustle and bustle totally applies to the holiday season. And no matter how much you profess to love Christmas time, you might find yourself overwhelmed and frantic trying to execute all of the traditions and expectations that come this time of year. Our next guest is stepping in with a few solutions, five ways, in fact, to really simplify and savor this season. Studio 5 contributor Connie Sokol says to really enjoy all the fun and the magic, you need to first identify what you want to feel this time of year. And that's an interesting challenge. What do I want to feel? Well, and that's a great thing. Ask your family ask yourself you know when we get done with the season this year what do we want to say we, we felt peaceful joyful was it memorable and that helps to be able to be more intentional about what activities you choose because there's way too many Ooh, I love that word intentional well, and then that way you feel like we really we went for what we wanted not just tried to get to everything because when you try to do that nothing really feels savory mm -hmm. it's just trying to get to where you need to go so really choose what's the driver that's gonna choose it do we want it to be more quiet this year do we want it to be more service oriented a couple of years ago we wanted a more family centered holiday and not just ours but like our ancestors and so we did really simple things like scrapbooking and crafts and family game nights and and then we did some spiritual activities that kind of connected us with our ancestors and I gotta tell you my kids would not say it was amazing but it was very connected it was very full when we got done with the season we said that was great it was intentional for it was you. intentional it was lovely I love you use that word intentional because you do you you go into this holiday with so many expectations yes. and if you're not focused on the feeling of it you're just gonna lose yes. it in the hustle and bustle Exactly. Talk to me about this idea of making Christmas a family holiday because oh so many gosh. people would say isn't Christmas a family holiday? Yeah, well, so we think but it becomes like the mom show and yeah. we're like directing and choreographing everything in which there's a certain amount of that but we need to let the family help. Get the buy-in and let them help and a great way to do that is to do a family night and just ask everybody let's brainstorm what's the, the must-dos the must-haves for our season this year that would make us feel like this was a memorable Christmas and I love that we did this the other night and I couldn't believe it was so Fun. I went around at the very end I said now I want everyone to share one thing that would make them feel like if we could do this one thing you would feel like this was a great holiday season and I couldn't believe how simple they were that it was like build a snow fort it was do secret Santa service and like have a ton of food that was my teenager <laughs> but you know what I mean yeah. like just small things but they all felt like if that was addressed that was a fun holiday season and which surprised me so if you do that and then let the family help where it's not just mom is saying let's hurry and get this done the other day we did the Christmas decorations and it was just really mellow my son brought up the tree and did the lights and then Grammy and the girls we did the decorations and we had some music on and my one son watched the baby because he wanted to be low effort and so it was just <laughs> everyone did their thing but and it wasn't like hurry let's get this done we got this okay everything looks good I'll put it, it was just relaxed and enjoyable yeah. and we watched yeah. the Christmas show and isn't it interesting when you pulled the family when you really asked the kids they came forward with the simple solutions because it, it brings back that question who are we really doing this for exactly and there was no mention of electronics and I think that you know can lead into good questions that we can ask to keep it simple sometimes I think we women make it more complicated than it needs to be because there's too many more things to do and there's too many people to please and we've got to acknowledge someone's gonna be disappointed mm -hmm. and that's okay because we are doing our best to do good things so we can ask a couple of questions and one of them is am I doing this to create memories or to make it a show am I making this because I love my family or to check it off the list and then am I being present in the moment or planning ahead you know sometimes we're like in an activity mm -hmm. and we're already planning the next thing okay so oh, we're done with going. the cookies then we'll take them here and then we'll do this then yeah. we'll come back and we'll have you know and it's like we're, we're missing the moment and and sometimes we're doing things for show I have what I call my Martha scar where one time we're trying to go somewhere and I'm trying to cook something really fast and I'm yelling at the kids and we got to get there because I want to make this look really good this dessert <laughs> you know it was ridiculous and I realized I'm, I'm losing all the joy of this because I'm making it a show I'm making it a deal instead of let's just go and enjoy it and we'll grab cookies on the way from the store this point reminds me of an article that's circulating on Facebook right now it's a woman who's kind of putting out her anti elf on the shelf you know the idea <laughs> of this little little toy that mom stage every day and for some families it's fun and happy and that's great but this woman was saying I'm not gonna do it and one of the reasons is we force all of these expectations on ourselves and then yet we have the, we need these conversations about how to simplify it's like we're doing it to ourselves in one breath and trying to calm it down in the next yes and we don't have to and that's what's so great I was talking to a friend on the way up and we talked about this initial umbrella of anxiety we feel with oh I need to and I, I should prepare and I made my little simple plan this year and then I just go back to that and we were laughing about how wonderful it was it was releasing where you just go oh no 
I'm doing that on Thursday, so I don't even have to worry about that. Love it. And pull it back. There is some, I think, natural stress, no matter how simple you keep it, that is going to come, right? Yes. We feel it around us. We feel it when we turn on the TV and see the commercials. It kind of starts to build. Any tips for women out there in moments they need to just bring it down a little bit? Yes. In fact, I found some great ones on health.com, and they were very simple and reasonable and doable. And one of the first ones was to take some uh, natural oils, either lemon or orange. Citrus apparently is the most helpful. Uh -huh. And put it on your wrist or in a really pretty hanky and just sniff it or smell it throughout the day. And apparently it increases your ability to deal with depression and your norepinephrine. You know, I do this in the shower every morning. That is so fantastic. I have a little essential oil of a citrus blend and I just take a smell and it helps wake me up and get me going bright See, and early. living example. That's well, why you're so happy. You're so perfect. I don't know. See, but and that helps. And it does. That, it helps me. There's other things like calm, take a calming walk or at nighttime. You know how women, we get so wired and we think about the next day. Take some kind of a natural supplement like melatonin or phosphatidylserine that starts to help you get out of that wired stage mm -hmm. and gets you ready for sleep, which is a great thing. Another thing is Chinese, me Chinese medicine has a hoku spot, and it's right here between the index finger and the thumb. Okay. And you can press it here uh -huh. for 30 seconds, and it supposedly helps you to feel less stressed. The other night I was trying, it was like, am I less stressed? Am I less stressed? <laughs> I feel I'm less stressed. I think I'm stressed myself out. Am I less stressed? <laughs> so there's some simple things to do, and of course there's always laugh. We love yes. putting on funny Christmas story, um, shows. I love a Christmas story. Laugh out loud. Just let yourself sit down. Don't fold laundry. Don't do ornaments. Sit down, get a cup of cocoa, and laugh with the kids, and you'll feel relaxed. And it sounds easy, but we have to consciously remind ourselves to. of that. Intentional, choose it. Intentional. The final tip is really just to enjoy the spirit of the season. How do we do that? How do we keep in mind what really matters and what really is important? Well, there's so many, you know, actual celebrations, religious celebrations that people do right now. And there's, you know, Hanukkah and people do Kwanzaa or they do whatever. And, and those are all wonderful. Whatever you choose to do, weave the spiritual through it. And that will make that fullness. It's a wonderful thing. There's just something about it. I know in Greece they do Christopsimo, which is Christ bread, and they fashion it in the shape of what they do as a profession the family does I, I'm from Scotland and they have Boxing Day there and so on the December 26th um, in tradition of years ago that they would do you know the church alms boxes you donate and then on the 26th they would take it to the poor mm -hmm. in similitude of, of Christ's service and um, they still give to their mail you know carrier and news vendor and so there's different ways to do it for me last year I started posting on my website just a trait of the uh, a character trait of the Savior just something like he bore being misunderstood he gently corrects he respects women things that were meaningful to me as a woman wife and mother in my life and then every day I, I got requests so I made it into a book and every day it was just like a one-page devotional and a thought-provoking question for myself so I could keep him centered and I could not believe the difference I, it's hard to explain there was just like this like I said a fullness that came to me every day of focusing on Christ first and mm. then keeping that question in my mind so something simple like that whatever it is to you that's meaningful but something that makes Christ a part of your daily maybe it's serving the way he would mm -hmm. maybe it's not saying something that you really wanted to say that wasn't really <laughs> a happy thing but something that would make it more Christ centered choose to keep that spirit of the season and you will feel the fullness you won't feel like it went too fast you'll feel like this was really nourishing and enjoyable and, and peaceful and memorable. It's what we all want. Yes. You are helping women do this in so many ways. You just Thank published you. a book with this very title, Simplify and Savor the Season. Yay. It's available on your website. Yes, and we're doing book bunches. So either Simplify and Savor the Season, five books for 25. So it's only $5 a piece, great for family and friends, really easy gifts, or you can do 40 Days with the Savior. It has those devotionals, those daily devotionals to keep your Christmas kind of Christ-centered. Again, five for 25. So you can go to ConnieSokol.com and just order the book bunches and we'll get them to you right away. I was tell telling Connie I curled up on Sunday afternoon with your book and with my little bowl of M&Ms and my blanket and it was a great Sunday read. So That's a great combination. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was. It's a great book too. A great message. So head to Connie's website for more information on that. Hey, coming up